Hi, my name is Ling Nguyen, and I want to go over uh, some of the questions we had in the book we're using for class. And what it tells us to do is to build a uh, simple program illustrating some chaotic behavior. Uh, but in this question, it asks us to print two lines of it right next to each other with um, a certain amount of numbers following the decimal point and having them be printed out in columns. So some of the students in my class had some trouble over it so and go over it. So to start off, um, basically I'm going to create the script the book already shows uh, that goes and creates the chaotic um, uh, behavior. So they start off with having a def main and going in there and printing and asking the user this program illustrates a chaotic function and then later prompts the user exactly um, what it wants so in this case I'm using x to my variable and I'm going to input from the user uh, enter a number between 0 and 1 from there it illustrates a for loop students use for the first time uh, for, for those of you guys who don't know what a for loop is, it allows you to, rep to do uh, repetitive actions over and over. For this case, uh, whatever is inside this for loop will do it over and over ten times before it breaks out. Um, so, in here, again, x equals to 3.9 times x times 1 minus x. I like having spaces between there. Again, that's not required. And from there, you just print out what x is. Because I tabbed in, whatever's tabbed in here, Python knows that it's for our for loop. So if I print anything else after or outside of the for loop, basically if I decide to print x afterwards, you see x only printed once. Because, f, uh, because x is within the for loop, it'll print itself down 10 times because that's what the for loop is telling it to do. And from there, I'm just going to call my uh, function at the end. So if I just take this and execute, I choose uh, Python run, OK. Uh, if I just type in any number, 1 or 0, let's say uh, 0.5, it'll give me 10 numbers. And for those, again, who don't truly understand what a for loop is, again, it just lets you do repetitive actions, how many times you want it to do. And the way a for loop is uh, structured inside Python is a bit different than you might see inside C++ or even Mel. So if I go here, type 20, for example, uh, run the same thing again, it's going to give me this uh, 20 times. So you can see it, it's that many times, quite a lot. So let's keep it at 10. And the first thing I want to illustrate is how to take care of uh, the decimal points. Uh, the description showed six numbers after the decimal point, And um, we can do the exact same thing. All I have to do is go in here where it says print and I'll start off using a percent zero point how many numbers you want following the decimal point this time it's six and I just type F go in here put a percent in front of this variable this tells me that I want to take a float type variable and place it within the string and inside the string it'll take that number and only show the six floating digits after um, if I wanted to I just replace that with the number two so it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, so I just have x here. And now if I were to print this out, type point two five, you'll see it stops exactly six numbers after. Um, other things I want to go over is, let's say you want to print this twice, and I put that again, percent 0.6f. It will need another variable out here in order to place it in there. If I just leave it like this and I try to run it, I'll get an error. 0.25, error. Exactly what I expected. So what you have to do if you want two objects right inside is just have this, in parentheses, a comma followed by whatever other variable you want. In this case, I'm using x again. And with those two together, I can just press Control F11 OK, type 0.25, and they're right next to each other inside. So this is one of the ways to print it out. So what I'm going to do, though, is uh, 
the question was to get another input from the user. So I'm just going here type y equals input enter another number between 0 and 1 and all I have to do is add that right inside so I'm just going to copy this line here paste it one extra line down y y and y and if I wanted to be printed next to each other there's two different ways to do it one is simply typing or printing x comma y if I want to control the exact spacing between each other I can simply do this go in here put a space minus space as you want and place this with the letter y now if I run this program click OK see point two five over here point five enter you have two columns with the amount of spaces you want to between fully controlled within our string. I like this method because uh, it's simple and to the point and easier to manage. The other method you could have used to print this out was to print percent 0.6f then putting percent x comma again percent 0.6f outside percent why? This also works, but this lets you control the spacing between them a lot easier because you can see it right in front of you, okay? So this is the method I'll be using for this video. Um, I hope this was useful for any of you guys who might have missed my class, but this will illustrate how to answer your question 9 in uh, your week 1 homework. Um, it keeps it pretty simple. Alright.